You're good. Okay, so this is uh, applying stain with the buffer. Uh, Rob says that you guys have tried it and you didn't have very much luck, but this is the only way to do it. Um, we're starting out with three quarts. Uh, we've got uh, about 1,250 feet that we're going to stain, three quarts over 12, 1,250 feet. Let's see how far that gets us before we have to uh, refill. Um, this is a carpet pad. This is actually not the best carpet. I don't like this. It's got uh, too tight a uh, weave or whatever, and, and you'll, you can experiment with all different types of pads. And what you'll find is that some spread out better than others. This one, I don't know. It, it, I'm not really happy with this one, but it will work for this demonstration. This is really important. You want this weave to be really tight so the, the stain doesn't bleed through because as soon as it bleeds through, that's when it starts like spreading out to the edges and, and starts uh, doing splatters. But that said, I've never had it splatter on the wall. It just leaves splatter on the floor, and then you gotta go buff over that again, switch out your pad and get a new pad. So important is that this is a tight weave. These could be maybe a little bit longer, um, but like I said, I, I, I know I've used better, but I don't have better. Uh, I also use this, um, these things, these little hog brushes. I'm sure you guys use them, but like, Kind of run of the cabinets here. Uh, at the bottom, at the base of those cabinets, you know, the edger mark hits them, and I don't know, this gets really tight to the cabinets without getting up a hole. Okay, so <clears throat> the first thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm gonna cut in. And I use these. This. Quarter round is going to be painted white anyhow, so I'm not too concerned with it. But uh, you can get in nice and tight, and like floor vents, it's great. This is also, uh, it's like medium brown and mahogany, red mahogany, so it's a pretty dark stain. And dark stains, you'll use a little bit more stain than the lighter stain. I guess that that's true with anything, but now when I rub this on, I cut in, except for the corners, and this is water pop. I know that you guys water pop. The corners, I'll have my guys um, wipe off the excess, but the edges, I leave it heavy like that because. When, uh, when I'm buffing, the, the buffer pad will actually pick up the heavy and, and use it. We'll pick up the excess and use it, whereas, you know, when you're doing it by hand, you wipe off that excess with your, you know, wipe off rag, and then it just goes into the rag and it doesn't get used for anything. You know, it's just waste. 